Protagonist with story progress at 30% or over. Currently at one. All right, time to see somebody else. Positioned directly around the terminal and automatically fight with their defensive armaments. Thank you. 
I think that's good. Then we have our plan. Let's move out. Easy there, Hijiyama kun. Don't easy there, me. I'm trying to lead the charge. I just want to go over something before the battle kicks off. Let's try improving the Sentinel. What, a refit? Right now? Sort of. This is one of the meta systems we managed to analyze. Basically, we can use those meta chips you earn in battle. With those, we can make some serious improvements to our armaments and the Sentinels themselves. You might even be able to make some brand new armaments on the fly. That's amazing, Okino. Why didn't you tell me sooner? Well, I haven't even tested it yet. I didn't have a way to confirm it. But hey, no time like the present. So let's give it a try. I hope we don't break it. Try unlocking a new armament and equipping it onto a Sentinel. She needs missiles too. On the customized screen, you can select meta system using L1, R1, and perform a terminal enhancement. By upgrading the meta system level, you gain access to new armaments and meta skills. Various additional effects are also unlocked and enhanced. Balance is key when creating a strong team. So this is another part of the meta systems? This is a really impressive find. You're telling me these sentinels can be even more powerful? Do we really have time for this? Um, I'm still not sure if I get it. Yeah, maybe this shit'll make sense once I actually get to punch something.
can't eat and pee, right? I'll go. or destroy all kaiju. Terminal destroyed or any pilot killed results in a loss. Okay. 
What can I do? I guess life comes at you fast. Change of plan. We'll move okay. right here. What now? Gotta think. Mystery points acquired in destruction are used to unlock sealed mystery files and analysis. Mm, no, not yet. Not yet. How many waves are there? One, two, three, four. Uh, ten. Ten waves on this one.
All right. Did you see that, Usami-chan? It was that kitty again! I don't see it. Must have taken off already. After this, you wanted to go to the record store, right? Yes! You must really want that new Idol Group's album. Well, you know the lead vocalist? He looks a bit like Amikuchi-kun. So oh my what? god. Jeez. Man, all the guys are He will go. For it's not even one you might like. You a chance my good friend. She's gentle, kind. Loves talking about romance even though she's shy with boys. Being in love with Usami chan sits Usami -chan. at the desk in front of mine. She has red glasses, braids, and seems a bit weird, honestly. <laughs> Even just watching from afar. <sighs> Whenever I think about him, my heart starts racing. It's like love at first sight. If I said that, would he laugh at me? It's like your heart has in a warm blanket. Every day, I have strange dreams. They keep me up at night. <sighs> so sleepy. Always sleepy. <laughs> Maybe, but come on. Have you seen how the guys react when Morimura walks in? Let's just say they're not looking at her eyes. She does have a nice figure, and I can sort of understand. About Amiguchi-kun. I heard he's not joining the basketball team. What a shame. He's so good at it. Back in grade school, he played soccer. But one day, he just got bored and quit. You guys knew each other back then? Yeah, in fourth grade. Nachan too. We were in the same class. Are you sending your love letter, Miwa-chan? I don't know. My fortune said bad luck this week, so... I see. Confessions take a lot of courage, huh? Yuri-chan. Sorry, sorry. Don't mind me. You should get a four-leaf clover, Yuri-chan. Huh? It's a love charm. I saw it in a magazine. If you include it in a love letter to your crush, your wish will come true. Uh-huh. And what was it last week? Put a photo of your crush inside your pillow? in men, Miwako. That's mean. <laughs> Goto Senpai's pretty cute, too. He has a lot of secret admirers. Even some of the third years. Yeah, I'll pass. Romance aside, I'm still hungry. Let's get more treats. Treats or kitty? That's a cat. The treats or cat? Uh, I say we go to the Satan cat. I don't know. Can we finish this conversation first? Seriously? Mm. Well, where were we? Oh, right. I remember now. <laughs> Did you see that, chan It was that kitty again! I don't see it. Must have taken off already. So many stray cats around here. Maybe someone's feeding them. 
that kitty? Think it's the same one I saw at school? I don't know. A lot of cats look like that. You saw it too, right, Yori-chan? Didn't it look the same? Oh, it's over there! Let's go then. I don't see it. After this, you wanted to go to... Yes! You must really want that new Idol Group's album. Well, you know the lead vocalist? He looks a bit like... Um, he could... Like your heart... That guy's shop... See... Let's have a nice figure. You a chun? You should do it. Send your love letter. Huh? But... It said my luck for this week is bad. I see. Confessions take a lot of courage, huh? Yuri-chan... Uh, sorry, sorry. Don't mind me. Exactly. So I agree with Miwa chan. Yeah, okay. All right, let's go. We all got the new flavor. Rich vanilla, right? Either this or chocolate mint. All right, I'm gonna try it. Let's see. Mm, it's so good. Super sweet. You know what my lucky item is this week? Guess things are looking up for you then. They really are. <laughs> I can tell. And Dora, I'd thank like you to so go much back for to that one place. And I'm sorry, Danger Zone. Thank you so much for being a one-year resident was pretty good. of the Velvet Room. I'm glad the streams was keeping you sane. Welcome we've back. At most restaurants in town. Is the cat still here? I love getting snacks after school. Somehow, it's even oh. better than eating them at home. Hmm. Oh. Did you see that, Usami-chan? It was... That... You saw it... I don't see it. Uh... Have you seen... They're not... You've got a... That's... Go to... You would... So I'm gonna have to wait for the conversation.
forget. You got your lucky item today. Yeah, just tell him. Oh, stop! It's so embarrassing! Watching from afar is good enough. But Miracle I do likes envy to watch. you, chan You talk to Amiguchi-kun like it's no big deal. You two are chatting on lunch break, right? In the passageway? What about? Well, uh... Dreams? Let's see... Now, where were we? Hmm... Amiguchi-kun and Kurabe-kun's dreams... They sounded a lot like mine. I wanted to talk to them about it. Maybe we're all connected. Yep, oh, flashback. Karabe kun. Oh, oh Fuyasaka san. What brings you here? You weren't at your desk, so... I thought I'd check outside. Are you waiting for Amiguchi-kun? Well, trying to. More dream talk? I'm sure that's what he'd want to do. But <laughs> I just want to play games. I thought I'd ask to hang out at his place. You know, I've been thinking. I know we just met here at school, but it doesn't feel like it's for the first time. <sighs> Have we met somewhere before? A long time ago? Um, I don't think so. Oh. Fuyusaka's here too. Amiguchi-kun. Did you have another dream? You guessed it. It was crazy, man. I was in this tank thing with legs. <laughs> walking around, beating up monsters. Were you watching some sci-fi B-movie before bed? So you've been having dreams like that all this time? Oh yeah, especially lately. You too, right Karabe-kun? Mine was about a UFO. I went back in time using the UFO's transmitter. I have dreams like that all the time. But in my case, I think I'm too easily influenced by movies and stuff. Why did you come here anyway? Don't tell me you're interested in our dreams. About that. The truth is, I've been having weird dreams too. It seems like they might be related, so... I thought I should talk to you guys about it. Oh yeah? What kind of dreams? Go ahead and tell him. I think that was you in my dream, Amiguchi-kun. The riverbank looks so empty. There's no Century Tower. This must be before it was built. I went back 16 years. Looks like I'm the only one who made it. Were Jiro and Okinokun unable to escape? This must be around the time I was born. Those cars are flying by, dude. And I'm all alone. What am I supposed to do? here by the future you 
to the year 2089. Names? The future of me? She asked me to find you on Sumire Bridge 16 years prior and tell you about our battles. We'll defeat them this time for sure. It's getting noisy. I don't want to get caught. Let's get out of here. What about that thing? Are you just going to leave it here? Don't have much choice. Gonna need it eventually. I'll worry about it later. For now, though, I think it's best you come with me. Well, we confirmed some things. Crepes. When Mori Mora walks, let's just say they're not looking at her eyes. Oh, we got a new one. 2089. That's what year it was in my dream. He said he'd gone back in time 16 years to find me. If that was a real premonition, something's gonna happen in the year 2105. That's 120 years from now. Hmm. As for guys I like, I think Amiguchi comes handsome. That guy's shallow. Romance aside, I'm still hungry. Let's get more treats. Good idea. Where should we go? Let's get sweets. It's a hot place to send new flavors. So we'll get crepes. I agree with Usami chan. Crepes sound good right now. Then that's that. Let's go. Miyuka went along easily with that one. Oh, those crepes look good. Strawberry crepes. You didn't get your usual? Chocolate banana, right? Double strawberry was half off. I have to try it. Yum. How is it? Mmm. So many strawberries. Crispy edges. Lots of cream. You know, what if I got the tuna in mayo? I could have fed it to the cat. Hey. Cats can't have crepes. I actually have cat treats with me. If you want to feed him, give him those. Oh, shit! So you're the one who's been feeding them? Jeez, Miwako. I'll keep that in mind next time I see one. Well, we're probably gonna see Thanks, it soon. Thanks, Mima-chan. I'd love to go back to that one, please. Their stuff was pretty good. Um, do you think we'll put on weight? Mm, we did just eat a lot of sugar. Yori. Are you on a diet? Is that crush getting to your head? Don't tell me. You two are taking things to the next level? It's not like that. Man, all the guys at school suck. There's not even one you might like? Oh. oh man! Did you see that Usami chan? It was that. Must have taken off already. Oh, it's over there! I don't see it. So many stray cats around here. After this, you wanted to go to the rest. Yes. Being in love is 
wonderful, Asami-chan. Even just watching from afar, it's like your heart's oh. wrapped in a warm blanket. Hmm, how do I? Maybe, but come on. Oh, man. Damn it, you gotta be really Did quick on that one. Asami-chan? It was that kitty again. I don't see it. Must have taken off so many stray cats around. Being in love is wonderful, Asami-chan. Even just watching from afar, it's like your heart's wrapped oh. in a warm blanket. <sighs> Maybe, <sighs> but come on. Hey! Hey! Miwa-chan! Over here! Oh, one moment. I'll get the treats. They're very similar, but I think the one at school looks slightly different. So there's more than one. You got a good look at the one at school, huh? At the front gate with Karabe? Oh, you saw that? Oh! That guy's kind of weird, don't you think? What were you talking to him about? It was... <laughs> it's only 8.10 a.m. Behold, Yori Fuyusaka, genuine morning person. It's not so bad if I put my mind to it. Oh, kitty! Early cat gets the mouse, huh? Good morning, Fuyasaka-san. Shh! Quiet! Huh? Oh, a cat. Looks just like a stray I've seen by my house. Maybe they're siblings. Kurabe-kun, do you still have those dreams? Yeah, sometimes. I have them too. You know that one you talked about earlier? With the UFO buried underground? UFO? Yori! Morning! Usami-chan! Oh, somebody's looking away. What's your issue? Good morning. What were you guys up to over there? Oh, um, just... Looking at a cat? Uh-huh. Hey, can we talk a little more? Uh, okay. Megumi? Oh. worried with you all by yourself. If something were to happen to you, I... Drew, stop. <sighs> I'm flattered you feel that way. But I can't think about this. Not now. I don't want to leave you hanging. No, I get it. I don't know what got into me. This is no time for a confession. It would only make things more complicated. But, listen. When this is all over, I'll talk to you again. Promise. There it is again. Were you able to find the source of these tremors? Okino-kun. Remember the kaiju that were immobilized? They're starting to collapse. The tunnel is blocked. We'll need to find another route to the surface. 
There's no use rushing. No one's left up there anyway. You don't have to say it. So you remember. I'm so sorry about your mother. It's okay. Our work here is a good distraction. I'll check the terminal over there. This one block of data is still being analyzed. It's been three days and it's only at 1.2%. That's unusually dense. Still, the system's logical structure... It's not so far off from our own. Was Okinokun right all along? This could be a relic of an ancient civilization. I wonder what this is for. Something incredible, surely. If you asked me for my best guess, I'd say it's a transmission device. In other words, a teleporter. <sighs> Don't give me that look. Hear me out. I actually found some associated data. Come on, you've taken quantum mechanics. Transmission of matter isn't possible. That's what our science says. We can't assume that alien technology is bound by the same constraints. If my theory is correct, we've got an explanation for the disappearances. Including those of your parents, Morimura-san. Guys, come take a look at this. The analysis took some time, but I found this. What is that? The map. This relic is enormous. It's 30 kilometers in diameter. And the whole thing's underground, right beneath the city. It looks like a giant saucer. Fascinating. So this isn't just any alien facility. It's a buried UFO. We're only 300 meters from the surface. Oh, this facility is huge. How could it have never been discovered? It's not likely. Rather, it may have been intentionally hidden. A government cover-up of alien life. Sounds like a movie from the 20th century. Those monsters on the surface. Are they trying to unearth this UFO? Just what are they after? It may have something to do with this. It's a data signal being emitted by this facility as we speak. What does it look like to you? This is... A countdown. It started when the kaiju came in contact with the mainframe. Since then... The clock's been ticking. So when the countdown reaches zero, what happens? Hmm. It may be related to the gravity wave abnormality. Do you think it might... launch? Let's just continue the analysis. There's no time for what-ifs. We need to find out what's going on. Yeah, I'll have to put up VODs early, um, later tonight. I'll have to break it up into parts, of course. <laughs>